Hey guys, PlayStation Infinity here, and I just got back from Miami, so that's why I haven't been making any videos recently, but while I was gone, Custom Firmware Pro Beta 8 was released. It's the updated version of Pro Beta 6 or Pro Beta 7, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update and install Custom Firmware Pro Beta 8 on any PSP. Now, the main difference between Pro B8 and Pro B6 is that all of the bugs that existed in Pro B6, like crashing, have been fixed in Pro B8, also more homebrew is compatible. Now you guys will need a computer and a USB cable of course. We're just going to be dragging a couple files in and if you guys have custom firmware on your PSP already, no worries. You'll just run the update and it'll work just like installing a fresh version of Pro B8. Also if you guys have no custom firmware, it works the exact same way so just follow me and you guys will have custom firmware on your PSP. Now just a quick recap for those of you that are new to PSP modding, depending on which firmware your PSP is running, there will be three different files in the description down below. You'll have to download one of them depending on which firmware you have. So if you guys have 6.20, 6.35, or 6.39, there will be a different file. Now if you guys have firmware 6.20, it will be a permanent custom firmware. Anything else like 6.35 or 6.39, you will have to run fast recovery. It takes about two seconds every time you reboot your PSP in order to reactivate the custom firmware. And if you guys want to know how to downgrade to firmware 6.20, not all PSPs may be able to downgrade, but if you guys want to know how to, click on the annotation up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off, we're going to plug in our PSP and enter USB connection. Just gonna do that real quick. And on our computer, I am on a Mac. It does not matter if you have a Mac or Windows. Just open up your memory card, go into PSP, game. And if you have custom firmware, you're already gonna have the pro update folder. So just gonna open up the Pro Beta 8 file you downloaded. And it may be in a RAR or a zip, so you will need WinRAR. It'll be down below in the description as well. But I'm gonna open that up and in here. I have the pro update. I'm going to drag that in and replace it. I know I already have it, but this is the pro beta 8 version. And since I have firmware 6.20, I have permanent custom firmware. Here is the permanent patch. I'm going to drag that in as well. I don't know if there's a difference between the old one and the new one, but I'm going to replace it anyways. And that's it. So now you can close out of that. And also, I forgot one thing. If you guys have firmware 6.35 or 6.39, actually I opened the wrong thing, you will want to drag in fast recovery as well. Now, because I don't, I didn't drag that in, but for firmware 6.35 and 6.39, drag in fast recovery because you will need to run it every time you reboot. Okay guys, so go ahead and close out of that. And now we're back to the PSP. Okay, so now that I'm back on my PSP, we're going to go into game, your memory stick, and you will see two new files. Depending on which firmware you have, I have 6.20, so I will have the permanent patch. If you guys have 6.35 or 6.39, you will have the fast recovery file, but I have the permanent patch. And you will have the pro update as well, so we're going to click on that. Your PSP will reboot, and we're going to get a little menu in just a second. Okay, and we're going to click X to launch the custom firmware. It's going to install and press X again to start it. So your PSP will reboot and this time into custom firmware. Okay, and that's it. You guys are now running custom firmware on your PSP. So if we go into settings, system information, I do have 6.20 Pro Beta 8, the latest and greatest custom firmware. Now, also in your game folder, you will have the permanent patch. You'll need to run that if you haven't run it already. Since I had 6.20, I already ran it, so I don't need to run it again. Otherwise, you will have the fast recovery folder for firmware 6.35 and 6.39. And as I said before, you will need to run it every single time you reboot or your battery dies in order to re-enable the custom firmware. But okay guys, so that's my video on how to update to Pro Beta 8 or install it if you didn't have it. So thanks for watching guys. As usual, please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, I really appreciate it. And rate this video if you liked it and if it helped. So once again, thanks for watching guys and enjoy your custom firmware modded PSP.